Hello and welcome to my kitchen. So on days like today, I would normally go out and go for a bike ride, but it's kind of chilly outside and I figured that today of all days, would be a nice day to make a hot sauce. So I've got some jalapenos, I've got a shit ton of garlic, cilantro, and some tomatillos, only two and a white onion and uh, avocado. And those are gonna be the base ingredients. Don't mind my dogs coming in here and barging in and out throughout the door. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started here. All right, so got everything washed now. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a pan on the stove top. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of olive oil so I'm gonna chop up the jalapenos and I'm going to just saute them for a bit uh, as I get everything else prepped. So I don't do anything fancy. I'm literally just gonna chop up or chop off the ends of the jalapenos because I really don't need to do anything else other than that. The Vitamix is gonna take care of the rest of it. Maybe if I just want to make sure that they cook more evenly, I'm going to chop them a little bit more, but ideally I don't want to touch the seeds and get the spices all over my hands because that's not fun. Let's get these little guys in here. See those? Beep. All right, let's take that over here. Should be warm enough now. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna let those saute. Oh, missed one. Now we've got the really fun process of uh, getting all these cloves of garlic out. Hmm, actually, before I do that, I want the onion in there with the jalapeno. So I'm gonna get the onion in there. Time to cry. All that stuff is just gonna go on my compost later. All right, let's go join the jalapenos, which are clearly having fun. So I definitely underestimated the amount of time that it's gonna to take to process all this garlic. And I do have other things that I have to take care of today. So I think I'm gonna go a little bit less on the garlic. I'm going to chop up my tomatillos now and add those to the jalapenos and onions that are simmering but uh, probably only gonna process like one more clove of garlic, so I guess that changes the recipe a little bit. Uh, but, you know, you make compromises and do what you need to do. The uh, reason I'm choosing to make a green salsa is the last salsa I made was a habanero salsa, and it turned out really good, and I was actually really happy with it but I, I don't like to just repeat the same thing over and over again. This green, this green, have I been saying salsa this whole time? Uh, this green hot sauce that I'm making is actually inspired by a green salsa that I make. Uh, the ingredients are pretty much the same. However, the difference is really like, I'm, I'm, I'm still using a lot of garlic, uh, a lot more garlic than what any recipe really calls for. And I like to learn lessons the hard way. So if there's a reason why nobody asks for this much garlic in anything, you know, unless I just like garlic more than most people, uh, I guess I'm gonna find out after I make this hot sauce. Another inspiration is why I'm using so much garlic is I bought this hot sauce in San Diego and it was called Zeus Juice, which is an awesome name. And it was just habaneros, and garlic, just like a shit ton of garlic and habaneros. And it turned out so good that I wanted to make a, like a green version of it, I guess. Again, I just wanted like a really easy and approachable hot sauce that really anybody could pop on whatever they want. I, I, I'm taking some interesting choices by adding the cilantro into it. I don't think I've ever seen a hot sauce recipe with cilantro in there either but 
again, uh, this is all just a learning lesson. I just want to make really good hot sauces because I like hot sauce. All right, so it's time to add the mountain of garlic into this. This is only gonna be in there for a few minutes just until it's kind of like warm and fragrant. You don't wanna have the garlic be in there too long. Got my half cup of vinegar here. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. And typically in these recipes, it calls to add sugar. But uh, again, I like to experiment with things. So I'm gonna add uh, this much honey into it and use that instead of sugar. So we'll see what happens. Gonna have to really stir that in there to get that off the spoon. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's gonna be fun. So time to let this simmer. All right, it's time to go add. What's up, buddy? It's time to go add my scraps to the compost. Awesome. The worms are gonna love it. Too food. Avocados are always a mystery. You always kind of wonder, did you get one that's ready? And well, this one, it's mostly just seed. That's my fault. I know how to pick them, but I was looking for one that was ready. And this one, it really wasn't ready anyway. So what do I know? So I've got pretty much everything ready. This has simmered and it's ish that's ready even though the avocado is not really ready I've got my uh, olive oil on deck my cilantro on deck and I'm gonna get ready to marry them all together in the Vitamix what's up with you Excited to taste it. All right, I gotta know what it tastes like. I don't really have a lot of patience. So let's see. My, like what I was hoping for was something that just had like a really, really good flavor. And the garlic, I really wanted the garlic to pull through because I like garlic a lot. And, hmm, I don't know. I just wanted it to taste good, that, that's whatever. Anyway, let's see. It's actually, holy shit, it's really good. Oh, fuck yeah. All right. I'm really happy with it. What's up, Lambo? You wanna try the hot sauce? I don't think so. What, you wanna try it too? Eh, no, I don't feel like sharing. So that's about how much it made. So, however you wanna spin it, you got enough to share if you want, or if you really love it, enough to last you like a couple days. That has been... Woo! That's been me making a hot sauce with my dogs. And now it's time. What's up, Larry? Uh, now it's time to end it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.